Okay, what we're going to do here is something that you all get to do on a new saw, but we're going to do it on this saw here, is you get to put the oil in the saw or the coolant, and you need to know how much coolant you have. Now, let me talk a little bit about coolant, because people ask questions like, what should a coolant should I use? Well, if you have a friend that tells you to run water, don't listen to your friend, because he's an idiot. You don't want to run saw, cool, water in a saw like this, except under one condition and very rare conditions, because uh, running any kind of water-based coolant in any of our Highland Park saws will void the warranty, save this saw over here, the production trim saw, that will work fine with water, and also using the drop saws, they work fine with water. Now you can run water in the other saws, it's a separate video I'll talk about, but the basic rule of thumb there is you're only going to usually run water is if you're cutting a stone that is extremely porous and sensitive to discoloration with coolant. 99% uh, of what most people cut is not that issue. Um, usually when people think about water, they're thinking about, oh, maybe this is going to save me some money. Guaranteed it won't. And the reason why is it's going to cause a lot of your componentry within the saw to, to rust and seize up. So you'll notice that this shaft here, these two hardened steel shafts, they go through the center of this carriage. Now, if I run a water-based coolant in here, I'm going to get oxidation and this cross feed is going to seize up. This saw down here, um, again, cross feed bores going through here. Uh, we had a customer ran this with uh, water and seized up the carriage. Literally, the only way I got that apart is by hammering the shafts out. It was a mess. So if your buddy says run water, run away from your buddy because he doesn't know what he's talking about in this particular topic. Um, if people say, well, run CNC coolant, that works because it works in a CNC machine. Well, we run 8, 10 Mazaks and, and Haas's in our factory. A CNC machine is very different when you're machining steel because, first of all, those machines are designed to keep the coolant directly off of the ways. Um, so you've got a lot of shielding, things like that. And secondly, when you're cutting metal, the performance is very different than when you're cutting stone. So slab saw, run a very light, thin viscosity mineral. There's really only two oils out in the country that are any good. Um, uh, avoid oils that have a petroleum distillate in them because petroleum distillate will wipe out the bearings. And what I mean by that is if you look in this saw here, see the roller bearings here? Um, uh, we used to recommend other saw oils out there that have uh, um, uh, petroleum distillates to thin it down. Well, the problem is that petroleum distillate, besides not being healthy for your hands, it's a solvent. So whatever thins oil is also going to take the grease out of the bearings. So you want to avoid that. Um, there's other video up there that will give you more details. But those are basic rules of thumb. Run a good grade mineral oil. We, run a, we sell a cosmetic grade, it's very good for you, it's not going to get you sick, um, and it's between a 5 and 7 CST viscosity. So it's almost water thickness, and it does not change a lot of thickness during temperature. So if you want to know more about this, go over to hplapidator.com uh, and look for coolant. And there you'll find our cool cut coolants. Uh, they're the best out in the industry. Um, and I say that having run pretty much everything from all bank to Pella to a lot of other different solutions, we've really found that this is really the best for high performance cutting. Hey, thanks for watching today. If you like what you see, click the like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to get more videos like this. And down below in the description, you'll find a link that goes to our website. It goes to also what we showed you today, more information about that. And leave comments. If there's things that you like, if there's things that you want us to do more on, if there's videos that you want us to shoot that we haven't shot, we're very open to that. We're really looking for ways to help you be successful in your endeavors with the tools and technologies that we create, as well as any other aspect of the hobby.